Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Sunday the 5th of September 2021. Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, it's The sun is not quite out here, it's been raining again most of the morning. It's early afternoon here now in Bangkok and uh, time for our after lunch meal of Sudoku you know, three Sudokus a day, dietary supplements. Um, <clears throat> this is the New York Times hard level puzzle. Yesterday's was pretty easy. I'm expecting it to go uh, in a tougher way than yesterday's. Although we never know with this thing, do we? Uh, I don't know. I don't start uh, play the game before switching on the camera. I do see a one already <coughs> blocking across here and across here and up here. So I have actually got one number, which is is good. And there's five blocking across here and up here, right? So that's a five there as well. <coughs> oh, six too. Look, six blocking up here. Six blocking up here. That's a six. Two, eight, nine, anything. Oh, let's um, <coughs> cycle through the numbers, shall we, and see if there's anything that I'm clearly and blatantly missing. Well, I've noticed uh, four and seven uh, in this column and this column and two numbers down here. So we are missing four and seven in these two squares. So shall we see if we can get any help now that we know that this is four and seven? Uh, one blocks down here, so one is somewhere along here. That's no use, is it? Uh, well, it is actually because <clears throat> that means that one has got to be in this square here in that, in that block. So that's a little something I guess. What did I say? Four and seven. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, two is here or here. That's not going to be any juice. Three is here or here. Also not much use. <clears throat> Uh, okay, <laughs> not not a great deal of use, but anyway. Uh, four. Uh, is there anything? How about up here? One. So missing numbers. If we've got four and seven, two, eight, nine missing. No, 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 no that's nothing. Okay. All right. Absolutely no idea. Let's keep moving then. Back on to twos. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
We've got one eight and one nine. <coughs> That's pretty tight, isn't it? Miserly. Both eight and nine are pointing at this square. Let me just just make sure this is not a single, shall I? Because I can see eight point we've got one eight and one nine. And the only thing they've got in common is this square. And there are several numbers along here. So let me just make sure this is not a chance to find a single. Can it be one? No. Can it be two? Yes. Three, no, four, no, five, no, six. Can't be eight on that. And no, it could be a seven as well. So it's two or seven, actually. Okay, so. <clears throat> no, that's not good enough. Got to experiment and check these things though, right? You need to look. I mean, you know, won't know unless you look, right? I'm gonna have to head on for um, our candidates then because uh, I don't know what else to do. So it's very uh, tight here today. So I'm gonna put in paired candidates that I can see. Uh, let's come back and do this four and seven where I know that they go. Um, Sevens also up here and here. Sevens also down here and here. Uh, let's be a bit more methodical. One is in this column here, but that's not uh, a pair, so I'm going to hold up on that for the moment. Mm. Uh, one is a pair here. Okay, so now we've got one and seven. Great. So now we can say this three blocks across here and three blocks here. Three blocks here. So three is a pair there and there. And three is definitely a pair down there and there. Four blocks across the same row. And four blocks this square as well. So that's a pair three and four and that's looking nice too. We know four is somewhere in here now but we don't know where but anyway at least we've got two matching pairs here already <clears throat> in this block. So uh, one two three four so any intersecting fives? No. Sixes? Yes six can't be here so six is limited to these two squares and that will also give us a pair of candidates down here. Uh, missing numbers are eight and nine. Uh, no, sorry, not eight, nine. Uh, uh, well, nine is one. Nine blocks this square, so nine is here and here. Five and nine, right? So five can go anywhere. I mean, anywhere in these three squares, of course. Okay, let's do that. Let's put let's put them in. Uh, let's see now. What else can we get? No, um, not much really. Okay, so let's uh, get on with our candidate filling then so three is a pair in these two squares because of this three and this three blocking up in the columns this three blocks up these two squares and this three stops these two squares from being three so three is a pair in those squares there and down here three is a pair because of this three blocking all the way down and three in these rows
uh, while I'm on the topic, I see twos here and here. And twos here and here. Five, we can restrict to these two squares up there. Five is a pair in these two squares. Six is a pair here and here. Aha, uh -huh, six across this row and six up this column gives me a pair of sixes in these squares. Now we had three also in these two squares, right? So I can get rid of the two and I can get rid of the five and I can place both of those numbers as singles now. So two goes here, five goes here, like that. Did that automatically remove candidate 5. I, ah, I'm not sure if I've, uh, hold on, let me just check. I've, oh, I've clicked the wrong thing here, excuse me, I had the wrong setting on. Uh, it automatically cleared that 5 and I usually don't have that setting on, but I would have seen it anyway and I can tell you that there is a 9 for sure. Oh, that's better. So 9 will clear there, 5 and 6, right? This 2 now blocks this square here, which is nice because that gives a pair of 2s up here. The 8 in this block I don't know anything about though. And unfortunately, I'm not likely to know anything about it either. So I'm going to put it. Oops! I'm going to put it in. Hey, what's going on? Eight, eight, eight. Okay, there we go. Um, this looks the most likely thing now. So uh, we are missing two numbers here and here. Seven and seven and eight. Right? Seven, eight there. Seven, eight. Um, so we can say now if seven eight is in the left seven is in the left column and right column left column right column seven's got to be in this middle column here we have seven blocking here so seven is in these two squares All right, I don't know the next place to go, so let's just do this middle um, block in the top shoot. One we have already, two blocks up this middle column here, and two blocks up across this square. So we can pencil mark in twos like this. Three we've got in already, four blocks across this row and this row. I'm going to put in the four, even though it's not a pair, I'm going to put it in. Did I finish looking for pairs? Actually, I'm not sure that I did finish looking for pairs, did I? That's an error on my part. I should be, I should have continued looking for pairs first. I think there may be some that I haven't seen. Let's just double check first. And 
maybe not anyway. <laughs> I don't think it makes any difference. Uh, um, four I've done up here, five we've got already, six, six plus this square here only, so six can go everywhere else. Seven blocks across this rule. Oh, seven we've put in already. Uh, that's the beauty of having these highlight <laughs> things highlighted. Uh, eight. No, we don't know anything about eight, do we? So, eight, eight, eight. And then nine blocks across this row here. So nine, 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 nine. Eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. Okay. All right, let's come down here. One now blocking all the way down this middle column. So one, 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 two, three. We have four blocking down this column. So no four in this square here. Okay, five blocks across here. And there's a five at the top blocking this square here. So five in those squares. Six, seven, we have. Eight blocking down here. Eight, eight, and eight, and nine is limited to the middle column because of this nine and this nine. Okay, so now we have done that. Now let's see if there's any useful things for us to remove. Don't see anything. So onto this block here. Now one's blocking down here, down here. So oh, one is available in those two squares. Two, three, we have four we don't have yet, and we don't know anything about. So four in every square. Five we have is blocking this square here, and five blocking down here. So five. Like so, six, we've got seven, uh, eight, no information about eight or nine. So we'll just put eight and nine into every square. Oh, a lot of candidates now. Mm. Okay, up here, two uh, blocks along here. So two, two, and two, three, we have four blocks of this square here and four blocks this square here so we're limited to this row here four five blocking down here like this so five five uh, five also across this row here so five in those three squares six seven we've got eight blocks across here so eight, eight, and eight, and nine blocks across here. So nine, 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 nine. Ah, I tried to put a nine in there. What happened? Um, ooh wee, ooh wee, 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 wee. Lots and lots of candidates here. I'm going to have to uh, finish putting in these candidates everywhere, I guess. Um, so one blocking down this column and this one blocking this column, giving me a one available in any of these three squares. Two we have, three we have, four, five, six, seven. Just looking for eight and nine. 
and there's no limitation on eights or nines anywhere so let's put an in keep on here um, one we've got two blocks across here and down here so two is available in three squares three we've got four five six seven we've got nine we've got blocking here so this has got to be an eight wish I'd looked in this block first and this has got to be a nine <laughs> all right so let's go down and get rid of the nines down here and let's get rid of the eights in this in here okay now we're left with a two amazing how much easier it looks in just 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 a couple of seconds the whole thing looks ridiculously easier and just because the last place that i looked was this block here if i'd gone in the other direction i'd have been complaining about this game being too easy or something like that possibly um just just depends on where you start looking sometimes in sudoku this is a nine now this is the only nine available for us in this block and so let's come down and get rid of nines where we can't use them down here this nine also stops this from being a nine in fact allows us to place an eight there and so let's get rid of the eights where we can't use them as well Okay. What a huge difference, huh? Huge difference. Uh, three six and three six. So it means we can't use any other threes or sixes in this row. So that six now has to go, and that six has to go as well, leaving us with two eight. Now it means we can't use two or eight in this block. So here and here can be removed, and here and here can be removed. do we have Okay, let's let's have a look through the numbers and see what we can see. Nicely highlighted, so you can see the patterns uh, very easily. I'll just have a quick look, I'll kind of do a bit of error checking, really, make sure we don't have any uh, mistakes left or anything uh, that we need to get rid of. Oh, so there's only one seven left to get here, so I can place that seven. And that means this is now an eight. And down here, this gives me a one and a seven there, and a one here. Let's get rid of candidate one, where we can't use it down here and across here. Like that now this is the only one to get in this block so we'll place it in as a big number and we'll place the one there as a final number eight goes here now three is here this is 
2, 2 or 5, that's a 5. 2 and 5 we have now, that gives us a 3 there. So, um, so far so good. This 5 means that this has to be a 6 and this has to be a 2. Let's get rid of candidate 2 here and here. Four, five, and nine. Okay, that's all right. This two also means that this can't be a two now. That's got to be an eight, and the two has to go here like this. Okay. Almost finished now, aren't we? Well, I mean, the tricky stuff is done. Let's get rid of some more candidates or pencil marks that we can't use. Or oh, actually, let's actually let's place this two here since that's the only place where a two can go now in this block. Um, I've got three. I've got eight. So three, eight, or nine. That's got to be a nine. Nine is here or here, so it must be in this square. And nine now has to go in that block box there, I should say. And nine here gives us a nine there. So let's get rid of numbers we can't use. We are now left with a pair of four or five along here. Uh, we can't use a nine there or there or there anymore. Let's move a little bit on my chair. Excuse me while I uh, creak a little. It's not me, it's actually my chair. Let's get rid of the eight that we can't use there. There's also an eight that we can't use there. See how easy it is when you uh, can use the computer. Try to do this on a piece of paper. You can't. That's a seven, of course. The last number in this row. Um, yeah, the computer really does help to uh, solve the puzzles, I must admit. Right, let's see. Let's examine what's left. Well, I've got a 6 here now, so that's going to have to be a 3, and that's got to be our 4, and the 6 must go there, giving a 4 in this square now, and 5 there, and an 8 there, and the 6 is in that square now. Uh, this 4 means that that has to be a 7, the 4 has got to go there. <coughs> 4, 5 we have already. <coughs> Four and five in this row already, so seven is that square there. Uh, I can see a seven, I can see a four, so it's not seven, it's not four, that leaves us with five. We've got four, we've got five, that's got to be an eight. Last number here is a four, gives us a three here. Four in this by value cell, three. In our binary choice here means that that's a six. This is our three. As you can well see, six means you're a five, you're a six. Down here, what's missing? Five says between four or five, it's got to be a four. Five goes here, rainbow pattern says, okay, um, game over. I have a feeling I took quite a long time. I, I, I turned the timer off for these things. I have a feeling that one took me quite some time to complete. Uh, I wasn't really watching the clock, but um, I thought I was a bit slow over that. Certainly much harder than yesterday's game, but not really a, a very hard game compared to some of the uh, New York Times hard level puzzles. So thank you very much for joining me. Come back again when you're ready for more Sudoku, whenever that is. Thank you. Bye-bye.